Johnny Cash by Zach Thornton. Introduction. Hello, my name is Zach Thornton, and I will be doing a presentation about Johnny Cash. In this Lest We Forget project, the goal is to choose a controversial figure, study that figure, and prepare a presentation that explores that person's life. Johnny's highlights. Known for his voice and stage presence, man in black nickname, part campfire storyteller, part outlaw in black, and remarkable and late life artistic triumphs of will and wisdom. Book. Johnny Cash, the biography by Michael Strathguff in Nashville, Tennessee, and said that Strathguff utilized, utilized those who knew Cash best to paint the portrait of the man, husband, father, and performer. An important and compelling portrait. Controversy, drug addiction. Backstory. Ray Cash, Johnny's dad, was verbally and physically abusive. Ray was a veteran of World War I and did not accept Johnny. Johnny was never their favorite in the family. Things only got worse when Jack, Johnny's older brother, passed away in 1944 at the age of 15 due to a lumber mill accident. Johnny joined the Air Force on July 7, 1950, and in the spring of 1951, Cash was tagged for high-level security work and sent to Brooks Air Force Base. Cash was among the lead of the squadron. For almost three complete years, a man sat hunched over a radio typewriter in a craft room. Cash returned home from, his mil from the military with more refined musical abilities. Cash joined the group, group Sings in the Air Force. He purchased a guitar and learned two or three chords. Cattle pulled it into the history books. The military gave Johnny more confidence in his musical identity. He got together with Luther Perkins and Marshall Grant. Two mechanics employed by an automobile sales company at 309 Union Avenue, Stress Ghost, page 52, who worked with Roy Cash, who introduced them to Johnny in 1954. Johnny joined Sun Records in 1955 with Perkins and Grant. They were called Johnny Cash and Tennessee Two. They released their first song, Cry, 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 on June 21, 1955. Johnny's first major hit song, Folsom Prison Blues, in 1956, was sprouted from his personal experiences. In the spring of 1956, it hit the top 10 country charts, and Johnny got invited to Nashville's Grand Ole Opry. Cash delivered his new song, I Walk the Line. I Walk the Line helped carry Johnny to, mass, to the mass audiences. Drummer W.S. Holland was added to the band in 1960, changing the name to the Tennessee Three. Johnny was a part of numerous songs and TV shows. Shortcomings. Grant said that Johnny was taking pills in 1956. Grant found Johnny in his storage room with a handful of pills. One example of how bad the drug use was, guitarist George Riddle said in, in an interview, we were in Des Moines, Iowa, and he was in one of those little pickup trucks with a camper on top. He just got back from Mexico. He said, boy, so what I got. And he opened up a drawer. He had one of those candy scoopers like you pick up jelly beans with. And he said, how many do you want? That camper was loaded down. In early October of 1965, America woke up to Cash's self-destruction. When newspaper, television, and radio reported his arrest on federal drug charges in, in El Paso, Texas. Johnny missed many events he was supposed to sing at because of drugs. And promoters started dropping events because they saw how poorly he was performing. Or they, was, they, or they were scared he wouldn't show up. Cash made a very public proposal to Carter after several previous attempts had failed. Carter finally said yes when Cash popped the question in front of the concert audience of 7,000 people in 1968. Cash often praises June for helping him get off the drugs and helping him find his Christian roots. She helped him eventually overcome his addiction, being there for him during numerous bouts of rehab, and staying by his side through sobriety and when he returned to using drugs and alcohol. Was Johnny Cash broke? Yes, in 1965 when trying to buy a house, Cash, Cash's financial burns mocked the deal. He struggled to come up with, with the cash for a down payment and only succeeded when a Columbia executive acting as an agent of the label stepped forward and, and guaranteed the loan. Stress Guff, page 135. Remembering Cash's legacy. Should we remember Johnny, Johnny Cash's legacy in the 21st century from his heavy drug addiction or his remarkable art, artistic abilities? Johnny's top hit songs. 
TV shows and movies. Johnny's Grammy Awards, he won. Remembering Cash's legacy by music. Johnny got the rare honor of being introduced into the country, rock and roll, and gossip music hall of fame. Johnny produced 91 albums and 170 singles. Johnny was involved with various movies and TV shows. Johnny won several Grammys awards. Cash came back in 1993 after 20 years of silence and ended his career in 2003. On September 12, 2003, he passed away, four months after June passed away. Citation. This book was packed full of information, and I got all my information from the book, but did some additional research to confirm the accuracy of the information. Thank you for watching.